Hello, um, Tom here from the Alpha Movement. So today I want to talk to you about the idea of the 24 hour athlete. You see, a lot of people are just considering themselves an athlete when they're training, and it's great to see people training with that sort of intensity and looking for those kind of results and doing those sorts of movements. But the, uh, the difference between themselves and the athletes they're aspiring to be is the, um, is what they do in between the workouts, okay? So an athlete has obviously got his whole life geared around performing better, whereas you have a nine to five probably, you have other responsibilities, girlfriends, wives, um, family, all other kind of shit that goes along with stuff, friends, all that kind of stuff. So I'm now gonna do some really shitty drawing and hopefully you can see what's going on. Hopefully my handwriting isn't too bad and hopefully I remember all my points. So. Let me just draw a spectrum first. I want you to consider this here, if you can see that, as your wake to sleep cycle. Okay, so most people are already going wrong because they're considering this bit here is the only part of uh, during their day that actually matters. And furthermore, they're seeing this bit here, which is from like 1700 until 1830, as when they're training as the only time that matters as being an athlete, okay? Um, in here, already, we can see problems because they're just viewing their actual session, the work done. But on here and here, we have the warm-up and we have a cool-down. Okay, I told you my handwriting's awful, especially with this pen, okay? And I've got shit dangling everywhere. Okay, so warm up and cool down. This already is where we can start to add time either side of the training session. Okay, so are you warming up like an athlete? Are you cooling down like an athlete? In the actual session itself, we can look at intensity. Are you training with the intensity of an athlete? Are you, um, are you focused? Which I suppose can be linked to intensity. Are you present in the moment, which is all together, and are you moving like an athlete? Are you prioritizing movement? So we all know, hopefully, we can remember this from, you've probably seen it at CrossFit, if that's where you're into, where you've got the mechanics here, consistency, and then the intensity. So the idea being that, are you moving well? Are you then consistent with your movements? And then only then and only then are you going to increase the intensity. Okay, so this bit here, is as far as most people go with their um, training like an athlete mentality. However, right here as well, you have your post-WOD nutrition. Um, so are your carbohydrates right? Are your um, protein intake right? Is it in, within a good time your training session? Is it in that anabolic window or the window of gains? Okay. Then we've got a meal here. We've got your sleep... Um, your, uh, yeah, sorry, your, your sleep uh, patterns in this gap here, which hopefully you can see if I use my elbow, okay? So in this bit here, we have your sleep patterns as well. So are your sleep patterns good? Are you in a dark room? Have you removed electronics? So um, dark electronics. Have you, um, have you had a good routine before you've been to bed? So are you chilling out? Are you doing maybe some mobility in here um, or something else to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, basically the, um, the rest of it of the, um, or the rest and digest bit of the um, nervous system as opposed to the fight or flight element of it. Okay, so we've got all this already. Then we can go to wake. So you're, when you're actually awake and we can talk about, again, routine. We can talk about nutrition once you've woken up. We can talk about maybe doing something for your mindset here. Okay, and these are all things that an athlete will be doing and that's making up the biggest difference between you training here and an athlete whose whole life is dedicated to this. Okay, but you can still see the biggest gap is between here and here. What most people are likely to call work, bloody work, okay? So what can you do within this time here to be treating yourself like an athlete? So the biggest problems I see are movement, 
okay? A blue light, so the exposure to blue light radiation, um, sorry, EMF radiation and blue light that's gonna basically screw every sort of natural system within your body. And then the other thing, or two other things, hydration, that's for O2, and stress. Okay, these are things that not a lot of athletes have to deal with or choose to deal with, okay, because they'll be um, they'll be training in this time or they'll be doing something else that's beneficial, maybe a massage or maybe um, Epsom salt baths or maybe talking about the or more uh, sports specific training or skill work or something like that or just another training session in this time. So what can we do about movement? Are you getting up? Are you moving? Are you stuck or are you stuck at your desk with a kyphotic rounded back posture with your neck craned forwards and making me feel sick if I see you? When it comes to blue light, are you continuously staring at that screen or have you installed something like Flux that's gonna remove the blue light element or have you got some cool orange glasses that are gonna help you um, remove that blue light element? Okay, hydration. We all know, look, you can see here, that is my water that I'll be taking with me and filling up three or four times today. So are we hydrated in this position? Because if we're not, we're gonna be feeling like shit. We're not gonna be recovering from this element um, and it's not gonna to be too cool, okay? And the last thing, stress, okay? Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do to um, alleviate the stress component aside from meditating in here maybe. Um, aside from learning to be present, and this is why I teach this kind of stuff, and aside from maybe maybe even doing a job you enjoy, imagine that, but there's still gonna be stress there. Okay, so I'm sure I've missed off loads of stuff that's really important to you, um, but hopefully I kind of gave you an idea that with training, it's not just looking for that that one and a half maybe two hour session like you shouldn't really be training that long anyway um, but maybe maybe an hour to an hour and a half session it's the rest of your life too because you've got to treat yourself like an athlete and this is something that i promote over and over again with my platinum clients okay i'll be back with another video soon and i hope you enjoyed it oh please subscribe as well if you're um if you're on youtube just uh, hit the subscribe button maybe check us out on facebook if you're on facebook then uh I'd appreciate a like, a share, and a comment. All right, ciao.